Mount Zion is a high support residence for uh, a number of people that uh, have enduring mental health problems and they've spent years in institutionalised care and they've now been reintegrated back into the community. So Mount Zion is their home. 18 people live here in Mount Zion and they have become very much of community life very much a part of community life in Tipperary. Following on the success of the Monster team in the Heineken Cup, the Friends Support Group uh, were very anxious that uh, Tipperary would pay tribute to Munster and particularly, I suppose, to Alan Quinlan, it uh, being Alan's hometown. So uh, we put forward the proposal to the Town Council that they would uh, accord them a mayoral reception and uh, that was uh, adopted unanimously by the Mayor and the, and the members of the Town Council. And it was a great honour, I suppose, to have the reception here in Mount Sign because uh, normally these are held in the Council Chamber. So it was a new departure it was a historic occasion, I suppose, as well. We're delighted to get this opportunity. It's difficult to find times to get out to all the different community areas. Tipperary has been exceptionally good to Munster Rugby in the last number of years, and we hope it will get better. It's great to see all the young players here wearing Munster jerseys. I hope you're all playing for... I better not pick a club or I could be politically in trouble. But I hope you're all participating and playing... Uh, mini rugby and that the bigger guys and that you're working on your skills and learning how to play football properly and I, I think that it's been a huge boost to us to have that amount of community support and volunteer element and as a result we have a huge number of young people playing the game in the province today so I think long may it continue thank all of you for your support as adults and for supporting the team in the way that you have supported them. And um, I'm just going to ask Dennis Levy just to say a few words on behalf of the team and thank you very much for everything. Seeing all the kids with the, the jerseys and the flags and everything, we know that there's huge support from around Tip Town, around the county as well. And uh, you follow us everywhere we go and we thank you for doing that. And um, it's great to go to all over Europe, places in France, you know, like Toulouse or Baritz and Cardiff and everywhere we go there's, there's uh, familiar faces in the crowd and it just gives us such a lift and we owe so much to the supporters and hopefully that will continue for years to come and uh, thank you very much for showing up today and anybody who needs a photo or an, or an autograph or anything like that don't be afraid to come up or, or, uh, we're more than happy to do anything like that so thank you, cheers it's always nice uh, to, um, to to get recognition for, I suppose, for the achievements um, the team and the squad have had last year winning the Heineken Cup and especially nice for me to be back in Tipperary Town and also to be here in, in the Mount Sinai residence. I think it's it's a fantastic uh, facility and uh, we're very proud and happy to support this day and uh, really honoured to be getting an award as well. Media-wise, you're going to look at it as a new era. era. We don't look at it that way, really. It's just a, it's another, it's next week's work and that's it, you know, this people, the whole squad and management have been evolving over the last number of years if you look at it closely, there's never been a year where we haven't gone without six or eight changes of some shape or form so um, it is, a, it is a, I wouldn't call it a new era, it's a change it's up to us to work with the change, the change and make sure it works and help the new people in their positions. There was a huge interest I suppose as you, you know, with the name that Munster has, a lot of people have expressed an interest that people wouldn't have done this previously but um, it's important for us that we had some continuity in what we were doing. We were losing Declan, we were losing Jim Williams and maybe one or two backup people as well. So continuity and that was one issue. But Tony was the right man for the job. He had the experience it, and uh, we were all very happy with him and he, he's ambitious and it's something he always wanted to do having done his apprenticeship under Declan and previously in Japan. So um, I think it's, it's a good call and it'll be good. Undoubtedly, everyone knows the, the great job Declan um, you know, did with the team over a number of years and uh, the success he's had and uh, you know, he's moved on to, to, to the Irish team. So, you know, Tony has been with us, um, but he'll come in now with his own new ideas. Uh, Laurie Fisher comes in with the forward, Sean Payne is involved, Jason Hall and Anthony Foley. So it's a fairly fresh, young um, coaching staff and um, we need to, them to challenge us as players and, and try and push us on again and, and, and uh, you know we have an ambitious group of players and uh, I'm sure the staff are the same, they're very ambitious for success and um, you know it's, it's an exciting time now um, but it's important that, uh, you know, that we, 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 we push on from this and, and don't rest in our laurels I think maybe we rested a little bit the last time and, and thought it was uh, you know we, we probably realise now that it's, it's, everyone's going to be looking for a scalp in the Magners League and the Heineken Cup next year as champions, and it's, it's extra hard. And, you know, we'll, we'll give it our best shot again. 
You know, it's something that I've had for, for probably for a few years now, but it's really uh, probably gotten worse and worse, and it came to the stage where I couldn't couldn't continue. So uh, it's good to get the operation done now, and hopefully I won't be out too long. Um, just at the moment, I mean, obviously you can see I'm in the sling there, so uh, the next three weeks then I get out of the sling and start my rehab, and we'll just take it from day to day then, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. It's not a bad time to get to, to get the injury if you're if you're going to get one and uh, to get the job done. As I said, it had to be done, and to do it now is the right time to do it. And hopefully, you know, you never know. Um, the the I suppose the All Blacks game is a carrot there for me, and uh, it'd be great to maybe get back for that.